Hello everyone, uh, this is John, a data science career transition expert. Today I would like to talk about Python versus R. Which programming language for beginners is best to start with if you wanted to learn data science and successfully land as a data scientist in your career? Let us take a look onto this comparison chart which I made it for you. See, R programming language, the first release got uh, into this market on 1993. But when you see Python, it got released even before that, that is 1991. So the purpose of R, why it got released into the market is keeping data analysis use case in mind. So based on that, they released a lot of libraries as well. But when Python got released into the market, keeping in mind that, okay, I wanted to build a lot of automations. So keeping that in mind, they released many machine learning related libraries, um, deep learning related libraries, NLP, that is natural language processing related libraries, time series modeling libraries, a lot of libraries got released into the market because um, Python main purpose is automation. So our main purpose is data analysis. That's how we choose between these two programming language. But there are two similarities, few similarities between these two programming languages. When you see R, it is also open source. Python programming is also open source. That is readily available. You can download it from internet. R has huge community support. Python is also having huge community support. Meaning whenever you're working in this kind of scripting, when you face some kind of difficulties, if you just go and Google it, you will get some support easily. So both the programming language has the equal amount of support. But one point is, um, R programming language has less support than Python. It's like you can find support, but comparatively it is less. And all data science uh, packages are available for classification and clustering. These are all some algorithms and also for visualization, which is available in R. But when you look at Python, the same thing is available in Python. Then what is the difference? Because every package is uh, related to automation and analysis available in R and also Python. Then what is the difference? See, in R programming language, we are having 19,000 plus packages, but in Python programming, we are having 300,000 plus packages. So here, number of packages itself is very different, right? Because R is less, we can say Python is more. Why? Because with Python, we can do data analysis and also automation. But R programming language is uh, mainly useful for data analysis. So that's why uh, uh, the number of packages also very less. But here, if you see the use cases, and also as I've already said, R is most useful for finance and research related purposes, doing some data analytics stuff, like bringing up some uh, interactive charts, something like that. That's what uh, R is mainly used for, mainly. And uh, Python, if you see the lot of applications with respect to Python programming language where we can build a web application, we can build a desktop applications, we can use of this, make use of this Python for this data science projects, automation related projects, deep learning related projects, machine learning and scientific community. So a lot of applications is there with respect to this Python programming language. So the takeaway here is as the use cases are many for Python compared to R, it is wise to go ahead and learn Python and to work in all different streams and once you become strong in Python, then you can extend your knowledge in R. So that's a takeaway, right? Because as we are having many use cases, so we are choosing Python. And one of the use cases is we can learn data science, automation related stuff, and also data automation, web application development. In R, we can do data analysis. Data web application also we can build, but it, the application or the spread is not that much related to Python. So that's why we focus on Python, learn, uh, learn to the depth, become pro, and then if you get time, you can go and learn R. Because only with Python, you can successfully land up as a data scientist. That's how I placed more than 150 learners in um, great companies as well. So if you wanted to make a career into data science, feel free to reach out to me. So the number is given in the description box. We'll be definitely guiding you on it. Hope this video helpful. And uh, now you got to know how to choose between Python or R for learning uh, data science. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye now.